Hey folks, welcome back to the Horde. About 1.30, June 11th, Tuesday, 73 degrees. It rained, and then the sun came out, then it rained, and then the sun came out. So it's like, there's a little bit of a breeze. But the humidity, especially if one isn't exerting themselves, um, it gets a little, a little bit high up there. Anyway, you can see the, uh, she's still a little wet there still glistening I wipe it off every night before I put it away so you guys remember this guy I mentioned it that I was gonna drag it in it's the uh, four-wheeler with only three wheels so I wanted to bring it in and see what kind of condition it was in and then make some decisions about it so it was all the way over there by the shed and I about gave myself a heart attack dragging it in of course it rained a little bit, so I slipped and fell a half a dozen times, but such is life. Sometimes you're going to break some eggs to make a cake. Anyway, I opened this up, and I'm looking at the flywheel, and I can see it's the newer version, the Mitbishu, or however one says it, not the ND. So I'm looking at it and going, oh, good, I got a good flywheel here. And then... I started to feel around down on the bottom and I uh, started to notice death and destruction and I'm looking at those and I'm like boy they looked at, like the teeth to a starter gear so then I go over to the starter gear and I'm feeling around and that not oops not that the starter gear feels great but all the teeth are there so I'm like no it's not the starter gear what the hell happened so then I started to look in here. I don't know, could you guys see that? Hopefully there's enough light. As I turn it around, you see how something's missing there and then you got teeth again. I'm talking in the back. Then you could kind of see like there's no teeth, right? Then a few teeth, no teeth. Once again, the big one in the back, or the um, the smaller teeth in the back. See, not those, those back there. See how you got teeth over on this side and none in the center. I move it back and forth. So, I found the source of the teeth. Now, why are they like that? There's a few of them missing, so I'm thinking they might have been turning it over on, you know, trying to, trying to start it, and it wouldn't start, and it was chewing itself up. Um, I looked down here, and I realized that I do not have a uh, another flywheel. This one, too, is screwed. I put this guy up against here and threw my weight on it you know, my 200 pounds up against it and it didn't budge at all so it appears as if this engine might be done I'm trying to um, I, I, I didn't buy it figuring the engine was any good um, I was hoping to get some parts off of it. I'm thinking the carburetor is okay. Maybe the head's okay. The exhaust is okay. The starter, I'm not liking the looks of those gears. They look stressed. I really would rather not use that starter again, particularly the stator. It does shift. It is seized. Once again, I threw my weight on that with a, I don't know, what is that, about 14 inches worth of bar there, and it didn't budge. This guy here, I have to ohm it out. It's got a little damage. I don't know how well you guys could see it. There is there is a little damage. It's not nearly as bad as the other one. This is the um, ignition coil. This is the one, the primary to cause the spark. That appears okay. The Hall effect here, that guy appears okay. So the stator, stator might be alive for the time being so I once again I have to ohm it out so I I might get a stator out of it though y you know 
<laughs> Once again, this the the primary does not a I'm, I'm just feeling around. It doesn't appear damaged. I most of the damage this guy all all the way on the edge. I don't I don't know if it hit the wires. So I I might have a stator that's good for ignition but not charging the battery or I might be lucky and it might be good for all the above or unfortunately with these things depending on how they are shorted you can fire it up and it's got a three phase there you can fire it up and bad things could happen if it's shorted and you're generating electricity that can go nowhere because it's shorted um, it'll burn itself up um, it'll cook itself underneath. I, once again, I got to get it apart and throw an ohm meter to it and, and see what else I got going on here. Anyhow, I thought you guys might be interested. Um, so what do I have here? I, I do have a complete dashboard with a key switch, though it is weathered. I got the um, left hand controls. They all are here with the buttons. The right hand controls seem to be okay. You know, I got the... Um, the to shift in reverse I got the handle for that which is important the back tires appear to be good I did get all the plastic and all the seat I got the exhaust system once again head um, I'm not sure if this is the same wheel as my um, 200 um, my TRX 200 I, w I hope so because I can use a spare wheel a couple of the wheels look horrible the tires no good it's all sh split and shredded um, so but uh, I'm hoping the wheel is, is the same wheel as the other guy I'll put that on all right well folks live love and have a um, a great day um, I'm debating whether to get this thing back on its on uh, its rightful position you know tires down and if I do that, if I should put some um, diesel fuel and transmission fluid, you mix them together. And folks say that that, that should break things up. Um, I'm debating whether I, sh I should try that to see if it will unseize. Um, I checked the oil on this thing. There was virtually none. Um, and his story about kids using it. So I'm wondering if they just ran it until it, until it freaking seized. Um... And then they kept trying to push it, so they ground up on the starter. I, I don't know. I'm speculating, obviously. I don't, I don't know. He doesn't know. And I'm sure the kids don't want to tell him because, uh, you, you know, that doesn't go over very well with Dad when you tell him, hey, I just blew up your, uh, your $3,500 quad or whatever these things cost new. I don't know what year this was. My guess, I don't know. It's got the newer ignition. You, you know, 87, I think this is an 80, I, I, a fair guess would be an 87, you know, I, 88, I don't know when they changed and got rid of this, um, this uh, Ford Model A front end here um, and moved to, or chuck wagon front end as uh, Wally called them. I don't, I don't know when they got rid of, uh, rid of those and, and moved to uh, swing arms. Um, it, you know, uh, or uh, what do they call that? A a a frame type. Yeah, I, I don't know when they moved away from that. <sighs> these were um, these were kind of the the transition from when they were going from these from the three wheelers to the four wheelers. Uh, they had a, must have had a bunch of these engines on the shelf somewhere. So they kind of they kind of cobbed them in, into four wheels even if you look up at the way the tree is here and, the, and this down post it, they didn't have to do that many changes to, to get it I, I believe the rear end is the same the engine's obviously the same um, including the engine has a low low so it's very it's completely the same um, so I, I guess what we'll call is this is this was the transition from a three wheeler and they made these the last year was 87 and at the I guess at the end of 87 they couldn't even sell the 87s anymore they they basically parted them out so this is the 87 or that uh, they stopped these in 87 
these were available in 87. I don't know if they were available in 86. And they were av available for a few years. Maybe only up to 88. So like 86 to 88. So three years. Anyway, enough babbling. Folks, live, love, and have a great time. We'll catch you on the next episode of The Horde. In the meantime, remember, tires down, handlebars up. Thanks for watching, subscribing, and commenting.